How are you guys doing today? Hopefully you guys are doing great. Today I want to talk about budgeting as far as it comes to Debt Negotiator Pro. Before we get into that, I just want to get over some household items. Uh, with regards to everything. First of all, I want to say thank each and every one of you guys who've tuned in. Be sure to like and share this video. The second thing I want to say is there's a free letter bundle. This is something that I give out absolutely for free. It's to help people on their credit journey. You get a free pay to delete letter, a cease and desist letter, as well as a goodwill letter. Um, that's absolutely for free. And then I know that the last time I had a couple of DMs and so forth with regards to a consultation for credit repair. Down below is a 20-minute free consultation with me. Let's see where you're at. If your score is in the fours, fives, or sixes, chances are you probably do need credit repair. Now that that is aside, let's get into Debt Negotiator Pro. Debt Negotiator Pro is a course Five videos, 15 years of history with regards to settling out accounts on the opposite side as a debt collector. Now, what I want to start with on the budgeting side of things is with a story. Yesterday, like I said it before, people sign up for consultations and I got a young gentleman on the phone. And this gentleman, when we get on the phone, one of the first things I do is I try and ask and see how you're doing. I want you to not give me a mundane answer. Anyone who's ever done a consultation with me, you know that that's one of the first things I'll ask. I'll ask, how are you doing? And I don't want the, oh, I'm doing great or cool. I want, you know, honesty. And I, I ask you to be vulnerable. Everybody doesn't do it, and you're not required to do so, but I like to set the tone that way. And this gentleman, he said he was okay. And so one of the next questions I ask is, what brings you to want to get a consultation? And he stated that he was served with the summons to appear in court. And I go, wait, 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 what? You were served with the summons to go to court? What happened? He goes, um, you know, I wasn't at home. My wife at home was served with the summons to go to court with regards to an account. Obviously, I'm not going to disclose the type of account or who the person was, but um, he was served with the summons and he had to file an answer. And he was asking me what, you know, he should do in this case. And so obviously I asked him a few more questions with regards to his credit in general. I think he had a couple other accounts that were in collections. And obviously now he's going to have to negotiate this account. And I told him, you know, if you can, if anybody out there, if you've been served with the summons to appear in court, you still have time. What you don't want is a judgment, number one. And number two, a default judgment, right? With a default judgment, if you don't show up to court, whatever the creditor is asking, if you don't show up, a lot of times people don't show up. I used to deal with it all the time uh, when I was in debt collections. Whatever they are asking for, they will get. But in this case, I told them, you know, obviously I asked them to uh, send a debt validation letter. Um, I gave it to them absolutely for free to help them out uh, during this time span. And, you know, obviously I gave him some words of encouragement. And one of the things I always state to every single person is understand something. Credit, all credit can be repaired. I don't care where you're at, what the circumstances and what the situation is. All credit can be repaired. It's just as long as you go through some steps with regards to getting it done. And so I asked him, you know, OK, well, you're working and he was working, um, you know, part time doing some stuff. Uh, I think he was working like Uber, driving Uber or something along those lines. But nevertheless, you know, I asked him, you know, OK, well, how much is the debt? And he said he thinks it's around three grand or something along those lines. And I said, well, you know, what's your plan? Are, are you able to pay? It? And, you know, he was just like, I I'm not sure. And this is where budgeting comes in with regards to accounts in general. Um, so, you know, obviously, eventually he's going to call up the company that's actually trying to sue him and try and settle out. But he was ready to call them right off the bat, right after the phone. He's like, all right, as soon as I get off the phone, I'm going to call him up. And I asked him, you know, did he have a budget for it? And he said, no, but, you know, I'm just going to see what they say and go from there. And I told him that that was not a good idea. One of the things in Debt Negotiator Pro that I teach you before contacting, whether it's a debt collector or creditor that you actually owe, you got to figure out your budget. You got to understand how much money you have and so forth with regards to the accounts. 
and it's very important. Me as a debt collector, I'll never it ne it never surprised me, and I always seen what would happen in this case. Now, I would get people who actually owe the debt. They would call every once in a, not even every once in a while. Out of ten people who call, maybe six of them would call in. They knew that they owed the debt. And they would call in, but they didn't have the money to actually pay at that time span, right? And so let's say, hypothetically, they called me on the 15th of the month. It's halfway through the month. And, you know, I told them how much it was that they owed. Let's say, let's use round numbers to make it easy. You owed $1,000. They called in. They knew that they owed, or they thought they owed 800 bucks. But, you know, with interest and so forth, it was up to $1,000. They called me on the 15th, and they were hoping to... Uh, pay a certain amount. They had an idea amount. So they called me up, get them on the phone, and then I'm like, hey, I can't go any lower than $700. I don't have that money now. I won't have it till the 4th or 5th of next month. A lot of times when you do that without being prepared and setting your budget and understanding what your numbers are, you're going to lose out on a settlement, right? And so not that it's legit and, and the truth, but as a collector or a debt collector, when they're on the phones talking to you, when you call in and you're talking about paying, they're trying to secure funds that day. So that doesn't necessarily mean you have to pay, but they're trying to secure funds, meaning they get a check by phone or, or a credit card by phone in that calendar month. Why is that? Because most debt collection companies, every debt collection company I've ever worked for and the two that I've owned are a month-to-month -month business, which means... In that 30 days, 31 days, 28 days, 29 days, depending on what calendar month, what we collect in that month determines our bonus and our commissions. And so when you call, not prepared and not having your budget set up, and you're just calling to see what's going on, it almost starts the clock. And so if you told me and most debt collectors, oh, I don't have the money this month, I'll be able to pay it next month then you know what's going to happen? They're going to up your settlement or your payment arrangement or whatever the circumstance is. We're in a month, most debt collectors are in a month-to-month -month business. So they could care less about what's going on with you that month. Now, the reality is, if you got your budget together and set your money together beforehand and then didn't call on the 15th of, the, of, of this month, let's say, and you waited, Tell you actually had the money on the 5th, 4th, even the 15th of the following month. And you called them up for the first time. You asked for your negotiations or whatever the circumstance is. And you had the money. You would most likely get that same settlement that they would have offered you that following month. That month. If it's the first time that they talked to you. This is why budgeting is so key before contacting the creditor or the debt collector that you actually owe the money to. You have to budget. How do you do that? Obviously, you got to go over your finances. I don't understand, and I do. Let me say this. I do understand because for so many years, I never budgeted. Most of, most Americans, what do we do? We make sure we have our money for our rent, our cell phone, our major bills, and then whatever's left over for myself. Let me speak for myself. I was partying with that money or buying new clothes or buying shoes or whatnot. And never, ever did I save up for a rainy day. When you're talking to a debt collector, if he can sense, for instance, you have that thousand dollar account and, you know, uh, you come up and say, hey, I could pay five hundred dollars. But and then he's like, oh, I don't know if you could pay five hundred bucks. I, we can't settle that low. Um, is there a way you can come up with seven hundred dollars if you give that? debt collector, a good debt collector, any sense that you have money or you're going to be able to pay more with regards to the account, they're going to be willing to try and get as much money as they can. Month to month business, the more money that they get you to pay on your debt, typically trying to get it balanced and full, the more money they're going to make in commission. Now, that's why it's so important that you have a budget. You got to have a budget. I don't care what goes on and what's transpiring with regards to that. You've watched any of my videos on YouTube. 
I probably have over 300 videos on there. But there are many videos talking about budget in general, right? You cannot go through life paying bills and living check to check. Now, I know a lot of Americans are that way, but the reality is the reason why most of us are that way is because it's not how much money you make, it's how much money you take. That extra money, whether it's $50 all the way up to, you know, thousands of dollars that you have extra. I know people who make a lot of money. I could even use an example as a football player or a basketball player. As we all know, once they retire, they had, you hear about these stories about these guys having $75 million that they've made, $150 million. And three years after they retire, they're broke. And the reason why is because they didn't have a financial planner, obviously on a larger scale, to, to what? Budget their money. you got to budget. You have to understand what is going on with your money. And if you're trying to settle out accounts, you got to understand beforehand, even if you know you got $5,000, you got to have to look at all of your debt, figure out how much the total amount is owed. I always say that. And then number two, try and half it by 50%. But to be on the safe side, do about 70%. See what that dollar amount is. Build it up. You're a lot better off if you have collection accounts that you're going to have to settle out. You're a lot better off figuring out that number and preparing to pay those things off. Whether you're doing it one debt at a time, say you owe $10,000, or let's use a smaller number. Let's say you owe $1,000. And at the end of each month, you got two, $300 left over. You stack it aside and put it aside and save it to actually settle out the account. I recommend having... 70% of whatever the debt that you have, you have to budget that. And I teach you that in the Debt Negotiator Pro. So that that way, when it comes time to talking and negotiating your account, you have the actual money. Money talks and everything else walks. But you don't want to call them before you don't have the money, number one. But number two, when you do have the money in hand, you call them up to actually pay. And now you know you have the money. Every single one of you guys who actually signs up for Debt Negotiator Pro and you get this course, five videos breaking down step by step what you need to do with regards to settling out your accounts. I'm going to end with this. Budgeting is key, but it's only one part to Debt Negotiator Pro. If you like what you've heard with regards to Debt Negotiator Pro, click the link. I'm telling you, if you follow those steps, you will become a debt negotiator pro and it will help you out and save you a lot of money and save you money from paying the wrong person. I can't tell you how many times I've gotten consumers back when I was a debt collector who said, oh, I already paid that. And you're like, OK, well, show me the proof. And they don't have any proof. Debt negotiator pro will make sure that none of that stuff happens, that you save the right amount of money by budgeting, which is this subject right now, down below, click it, sign up for the Debt Negotiator Pro. If you have any questions about credit or debt, put them down in the comment section. I promise I'll answer those questions. And like I always state to every single one of you guys, you be great.